Hello guys, I am Hitesh Sipati and in this video we are going to see a tutorial video for problem C grade sequence from Core Forces Round 773 Division 2. So firstly we will read the problem statement, after that I will explain you the approach using some dry traces and then we will see the code. A sequence of positive integers is grade, called grade for a positive integer x. If we can split it into pairs in such a way that in each pair the first mul number multiplied by x is equal to the second number. Okay. More formally, if you see, a sequence A of size N is great for a positive integer X. If N is even, obvious, since we are talking about pairs here, and there exists a permutation P of size N such that for each pair I, where I is from 1 to N by 2, A P 2 I minus 1 multiply X is equal to A P 2 I. Okay. So, what basically question is saying is that a positive sequence positive integer sequence is great for a positive integer x if you can make permutation of that sequence such that for every index i there is a index i plus 1 okay for which on multiplying a with x you will get a a i plus 1 okay same as a sequence a and a positive integer x sam already has that number and a positive sequence Help him to make the sequence great. Find the minimum possible number of positive integers that should be added to the sequence A to make it great for the number X. Okay. So we have to find minimum number of possible integers which we have to add to that array to make it a great sequence for number X. Okay. So question is quite problem statement is quite easy. Okay. You have to check whether all the numbers have their pairs present in the array where a paired number is defined as when you will num multiply current number with the x, it will become equals to that paired number. Okay. Constraints for the question is for value of n is 2 into 10 is 5. For value of x is 10 is 6. Okay. So you can do the question in n on n log n or o, o of n. Okay. Value of array is 10 is 9. Now we have to find print minimum number of integers that we can add to the end of the array to make it a great sequence. Fine. Now let's just see some test cases. We have a 44 for the value of n and x and 116.44. Okay. So we have a 4 and 4, 116.44. Now suppose let's just I pick this element and I have to pair this element with some other element. So I will pair this element with 4, let's just say because. 4 on multiplying with x that is equals to 4 will give 4. Okay, so I paired this one with 4. Now I can pair this 4 with 16 simply. Why? Because 4 on multiplying with x that is 4 will give us 16. Okay, so 4 multiply 4 is equals to 16. So I have total number of pairs n by 2. And I do, since I didn't added any extra number in the end of the array, I can simply say my answer is 0. Easy easy peasy okay now let's just see second test case 6 2 so we have a 6 2 1 2 2 2 4 7 okay if i say for this number i have to check its paired number i will say i have 2 for this one since on multiplying it with 2 it will get 2 okay for this 2 i have a 4 simply since on multiplying this number with 2 it will give a 4 now for this 2, I don't have any number. Since on multiplying it with 2, it will not give 7. Okay. So I have to add an extra number. So I will add a 4 in the end of the array. And I will pair it with 2. And for this 7 also, I don't have a number. So I have to add some extra number. So I will add a 14. On, add, on multiplying it with 2, it will give a 14. I added extra 2 numbers in this array. So I will say that my answer for this test case is 2. Okay, so I hope problem statement and dry run test cases are quite clear to you all. Now let's just discuss the approach. So firstly, let's just say that what we are doing in each in each step. What we are simply doing is we are just picking some element. Okay, and we are checking whether we have a paired element for it or not. If we have it we can simply say that yes we have paired element for it 
we can simply exclude those two elements from the array and we can check for other element okay so now how are we going to pick the element then suppose i pick this element from here i picked the one i'll simply check that whether i have a one cross four in this array or not i have it i will simply mark it now if i check for 16 since i don't have a 32 in this array remaining array what i will simply do i will add a 32 in this array but that step would be wrong why because i can pair that 4 with this 16 okay so in this question you can simply check that you cannot pick elements in some random order that would be wrong okay so you have to pick some elements in some particular order okay so let's just see why or in which order you are going to pick the elements what if i say you have to pick minimum element from the remaining elements right uh, let's just see other test case because it will be too easy for this test case okay one two two okay or i just uh, change this test case in this one over okay i am saying that you have to pick minimum element from this element array why suppose i pick the minimum element from this array okay now have now i am having these elements as remaining elements since all these elements in the remaining array if i say this is my remaining array are greater than my current element that is minimum one okay so there will be no element present in this remaining array which on multiplying with x will get paired with this one okay what i am saying is there will be no element remained in this array which on multiplying with x will get paired with this one okay that's why i pick the minimum element from this array because only this element on multiplying with x will either get paired with some other element in the remaining array or either we have to add some extra element in this array okay so that's why in each step we are going to check minimum element from the remaining array because wo minimum element jo hai hamara khali jab hum usko x se multiply karenge tabhi wo kisi dusre bade element ke equal banega since x is positive here okay so on multiplying minimum element with this positive number it will become some element greater than this minimum element okay so that's why we are picking minimum from this every time so to pick minimum in every step what we can simply do we can simply sort this array okay if we sort this array i will simply get one two four seven i will pick one from here i will simply check in the remaining array whether i have a 2 or not that is 1 multiply x present or not if i have it i will simply remove that element from the array and this one from the array and if i have this answer counter i will not increase it okay so let's just mark this pair out okay now since this element is already picked i will not pick it again i will check for this element i have a 4 I will mark both these elements out then i will check for this two i don't have a four here present in this array i will increase my answer by one okay and after that i don't have a seven and after increasing my answer one by one i have to remove this element from here because i have already picked this element then i will check for seven i don't have a 14 what i will simply do i will increase my answer by one and i will remove that element from the array okay easy peasy question now how i am going to check whether i have picked element multiply x present in the array or not for that uh, that thing since i am already iterating in complete array in o of n okay i have to check whether this element that is current element multiply x is present in the array in o of log n okay for that thing you can also use binary search since binary search tells us uh, whether some element is present in the sorted array or not since our array is already sorted 
you can check that element is present in this array or not in o of log n okay or you can also use map okay what i will simply do i will mark frequencies of all these elements in the map okay so i will mark map of 4 as 1 map of 2 as 3 map of 7 as 1 whenever i am processing currently picked element that is 1 what i will simply do i am decrease the frequency of 1 by 1 okay i will simply decrease the frequency to 0 that is by 1 since i have already picked the element and if i have 1 cross x present i can simply check it in 1 cross x is present or not okay if it is i will simply decrease it value by 1 i will make it a 2 okay since i have processed these two elements i will go to next element i will check via my map if i have more twos i can pick two okay if i have a two present in the array obviously i can pick a two as picked element and i will check whether i have a four present in the array using this map okay and uh, this frequency will be simply o of log n putting elements in the map will be n log n and we can afford n log n complexity simply so this was the complete approach i have to check start from minimum element of the remaining elements i have to check whether minimum cross x is present in the array or not if it is i have to do nothing i have to simply remove both these elements from the array if they are not i have to increase my counter by one and i have to remove currently picked element from the array okay easy peasy question now i am showing you the code if you have any doubt in the approach you can ask me in comment section I will also tell you why I got this time limit exceeded in the question. Okay, don't worry about it. I simply took all the inputs and sorted the array. Since I have reversed the array, so I will iterate in from right to left. Then I took a map and increased, uh, marked all the frequencies. Then I took a counter for my answer. Iterated from right to left. I check if I can pick current element AI. If it is present in the array, I can always pick it. I will check if x cross a of i is present or not. If it is, I will mark its frequency by minus 1. Else, I have to add any extra element in the array. After that, since I have picked the current element, I will also decrease its frequency by 1. Okay, and in the end, I will simply put my answer as the value output. Why I got that TLA in test case 18 because I took an unordered map in the place of map. Now what that was doing is that was making uh, much number of collisions. Since there can be duplicate values present in the array as you can see 2 2 2 okay. So whenever I was checking in the question if I show you this code. Okay? So whenever I was checking map of AI is present map of X cross AI is present it was making collisions okay and that's why complexity was getting higher when i was using an ordered map that's why it gave really in test case 18 so thank you guys for watching this video if you have any doubt you can ask me in comment section you will get the code link in description subscribe this channel and like this video